Camp is a free culture and free software conference, all about technology and also about uh, art and politics and everything from hardcore hacking of circuit boards to how we can fix the voting system. This is the fourth year that we've run it. It's a mixture of bar camp style talks, we've got a scheduled track, we've got open hardware stuff. It's all about getting people together to share ideas, learn new things, have a good time. Basically. We've got the first open hardware jam upstairs. We've got all these kind of cool open source projects. We've got textile hacking going on. So it's all about all of the hacking of circuit boards and things like that, and lots of people making cool things. Well, Raspberry Pi is a single board computer. It was designed for a particular application in mind to be used as a compute platform and also, importantly, to have hardware connected to it as well. I think open hardware is important because it gives people a proper opportunity to experiment because they have as much information that is available to actually get in there and actually hack that hardware, try new things out. A 3D printer is like a normal printer that will print with ink but instead of ink, it prints with plastic and it lays layers of plastic down to build up an entire object, a big three-dimensional object, based on the design you feed it. And this can actually be a very easy way of repairing simple things like broken hinge on your shed or a new locking mechanism or just a toy you've made. It's just great. It's all about collaboration. It's about people coming together, sharing thoughts. And when you come to something, an event that's like an open source event, you come along and you might, have, you might think this is the way the world works, it works in this way. And then you meet somebody who thinks the world works in this way. And you, find, you kind of find a convergence where you can kind of both agree but at the same time move forward together. And that's kind of what open source is like. People have ideas, they bring it along, they share ide their ideas and their ideas grow and they flourish. Well, the culture behind open source is such that people are making improvements and changes and new applications in hardware and software and releasing them openly because being part of the community, they know that the ideas they get will be refined, honed, it will be used, more importantly, and all the problems and benefits will be found. When you collaborate with a number of different people, the inputs that come into the conversation, you almost couldn't guess you will get things from different perceptions from people who may have a, an art background, who may have a hardware background, who may only have a fleeting interest in what you're actually talking about. But all the collaboration, which can be vocal or even just sitting down coding and doing stuff, will add up to something that's far greater than the sum of its parts. The hardware that we're building on is Arduino. This is a design that's been provided by a team in Italy to help people learn about computing and in particular to learn about these microprocessors which enable you to make things happen or to sense things in the outside world. So what you're doing with software isn't limited to just inside the desktop or on the screen. I think a lot of the value of being hands-on with this technology is just to demystify. And there's often a genuine surprise on the face of people who have made a circuit and it works because they feel it must be harder than that. And so just that confidence building, just that opportunity to think of it as being your own, you know, to touch it and make it happen yourself. The educational side is like getting back to being able to empower kids and helping them to be able to understand what computing is, is really about. It's not just something that you open and magically it's all done by robots that are just like cord things onto themselves. It's people who understand things in quite a deep way and the whole idea is that kids themselves can be those kind of people all over again you know, in the next decade and there's a real thrill about having that kind of power.
Well, what we've done is take the standard wiki house joints and create our own design for use over the odd camp weekend. And today we've finally uh, been able to build our version of a wiki house. And basically, to take it back to what a wiki house is, is to create a piece of pop-up architecture using um, standard joints that you could download off the internet and then print yourself a construction set and build your own house. And we've got three bar camp tracks on at the event this year and a bar camp is an unscheduled conference, what they call an unconference. People come along, they suggest talks, other people decide whether they want to go and see them and the schedule is kind of made that way and we've got some wonderful open source software which was developed by the people in the community called Campfire Manager. Over the weekend the schedule comes together, people vote on their talks and we end up with some really amazing talks that we would never have you know, expected. It's all about sharing knowledge really. It says on the website you know you can come along to learn something or to teach something and uh, that's the point really. We just want people who are curious about learning new things or even teaching new things. It's about celebrating everything really and, and enjoying yourself and, and that's what Odd Camp's about. It.